Welcome back to Padilla Palace Projects. We are going to go on our first garden walk of the year. It's basically a garden tour, but I have such a small garden that I'm just calling it a garden walk. And we're going to go ahead and pull a few things out, harvest a couple things for me to take with me, and um, see how everything is progressing in the green stalks and everywhere else I have them planted. So we're going to flip this camera around and come along with me. So this week we're going to be adding the other tub over here for tomatoes so that area will be cleaned up and um, we'll get the tomatoes planted. We were tasting our lettuce the other day and this uh, romaine lettuce is still doing good but this butter crunch lettuce is super bitter. Uh, with the weather my husband's like I don't even want to eat this. I don't want to add it in at all. So I know now that this butter crunch lettuce will be one that we only grow in the spring, which is a bummer. I don't have animals to give this to. So I'm just gonna be pulling out everything here, which is gonna leave way for my tomatoes to keep growing and then here pretty soon I will go ahead and pull out whatever romaine needs to be pulled out because um, everything's starting to bolt around here but this will be the tomato which is awesome the nasturtium is doing good I'll probably fertilize in here again next week and if you see this on the tomato this is because it got sunburnt when I brought it out here, I didn't harden it off right. So I need to be hardening it off more. Okay, we're gonna take a look at our green stalks. Everything's growing really well. I've got beans popping up. Really excited about that. The little micro tom tomatoes or micro orange hat tomatoes um, are doing great after I added the fertilizer their coloring changed and they started growing taller again so everything's doing really well our calendula is growing this side is our sweet peppers I do need to thin them out I didn't realize I hadn't thinned them out so this week I will be thinning out the peppers I believe that's a cucumber that I planted and then our tomatoes down here, again, after the fertilization, they really took off. And I'll sneak around the back of here. I've got, oh, this is gonna be another bean. Where is it? It's gonna let me. Yep, that's another bean. And then we have a bean over here and then the peppers down the back of this there's beets and then the tomatoes so on this one over here we've got cilantro finally started taking off a little bit look how cute those little leaves are so almost this entire top portion is cilantro this is a zucchini or squash. More cilantro. And then I've got fever fuel and chamomile. One of my chamomiles didn't make it um, in the transplant. So I'm gonna plant something else here by seed. And then more calendula and the peppers over here are doing great these are more of the hot style peppers you can see the color variation so this one has variegated leaves and the stems are purple it's so pretty and then this one down here also has the purple leaves this one's a black hungarian so it's gonna be a purple pepper So all the peppers on here are doing really good. And then we have got radishes. 
down here the radishes are starting to go to bolt so as soon as I'm done with these then I am going to oh it's starting to form a little head this needed that fertilizer I gave it a couple weeks ago so as soon as I'm done with these these planters are going to um, get tossed these are the dollar store planters that started breaking down on me and then this one these radishes are all bolting over here you can see how tall they're getting that means they are bolting over here is where I threw all those zinnia seeds down into and I knew it was a risk throwing them in here just because it's an apartment it's not necessarily my space so there are a couple popping up, but I have had neighborhood cats coming in here and digging in here, which is why I'm not planting anything edible. But I may try to grow a few more from seed inside and then transplant them out and see how they do. I also have a bunch of roly polies, which can cut your plants off at the stem. Over on this side, I harvested a bunch of the lemon thyme the other day, so I need to go in here, clean out the leaves. And then the lemon verbena is coming back. I'm really excited about that. So this time will keep coming back year after year and it's gotten a lot bigger, but I need to clean out all those leaves so that way it doesn't invite bugs in there. This little thing, I'm just trying to grow a couple things in. I may end up tossing it. It's starting to rot down a little bit. Um, but I have a turnip, I have a couple beets in there. This has a kale, and I moved over. I moved over some beets into here to go with the kale. I don't know if the kale will do anything. It's getting too warm. Over here is going to be our little iris section. This is an iris I just got from my aunt. It came from my great grandpa, so it's kind of fun. They have a family heirloom iris, and then this one's called banana cream pie. I have another one in the garage that I need to be bringing out. And then check out this green stalk. It's already looking fuller purely because I got started plants for the bottom portion, but the mint is already growing like crazy. So this is the orange mint, and it's gotten a lot of more growth on it since we planted this. I've got peppermint, thyme. This is already starting to come back. This is strawberry mint, the rosemary, the berries and cream mint is starting to come back. I pruned that down. I did move a couple of beets over here. Got the lemon balm. I lost a couple of herbs and my tags have been so wiped down that I don't know what they were. I gotta go look at my map, but I don't think I got this completely accurate on my map. So I'm hoping that I can get to replant some of these from seed, but we've got tons of basil, different types of basil growing in here. We've got the agast agastache growing up here more basil we've got a parsley we've got more mint and oregano this week I will be fertilizing this but I'm really happy with how this is working and I will record the fertilizing and probably post that for next Monday's video this pot's about to get cleaned out and then I thought somebody told me that was a citronella it's not a citronella it's a scented geranium but it does kind of help with mosquitoes so we leave it out here and it gets really pretty and then the next thing we have over here are our turnips that are bolting look at that so this was the Heidi Heidi Heida Bin turnip, the red one from Baker Creek. And I will link the what we're growing this year at the end so you can see all the peppers we're growing and all of that. 
but it seems like the red ones bolted faster than my white ones did last year so I'm probably gonna come back through and re-sew this with the white turnips the chives did really good after their haircut and this mustard is starting to bolt you see it climbing so I'm actually bringing this down to my in-laws tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this and get it um, I'm just gonna cut them off completely all the big ones and then I have all these little ones that are gonna be coming back in and I'll plant another wave in here and that way it keeps coming back Check out all of that mustard. We'll be adding that into some soup this weekend. Really, really excited about that. And then on this side of the container, look at those nasturtiums. Isn't that so pretty? I love that these are not just beautiful, they're also edible if you want to eat them. But look, there's gonna be tons of blooms in here. I see all these little babies super excited I'm letting this just keep climbing down it's getting super long this week I'll also be planting my other tomato starts because I'll be moving out those containers so these guys are just hanging out outside they are doing amazingly well I'm really excited to be getting some tomatoes hopefully soon so that's kind of the walk for now. There's not a lot that's super big. Everything is growing really well. I'm really, really, really enjoying these green stalks. So what I'm doing when it's over 80, I'm watering up here twice a day. Um, and it seems to help their growth. They've been doing great. They're not getting dried out now this weekend. I won't be here. Today is gonna be hot, so I'm gonna water this morning really good. I watered twice yesterday, and then I'll water Sunday when we get home. I'll probably ask my neighbors to check on them just in case, because I'm loving these little babies, but it's about to cool down next week. So it, I won't have to water as often. But I'm excited. I'm gonna start getting some stakes in here for the tomatoes down here that I can train them to grow up those um, the cucumbers I'll train to grow down but that's kind of what's growing let me know what you are growing in your garden and if you have been able to plant out I hope you have a great week and we will see you back here Wednesday for a fun little project have a great day